The Senate will come to order. I ask everyone present to please rise and repeat with me the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and justice for all. In the absence of clergy, may we please bow our heads in a moment of silence. Reading of the journal. In Senate Sunday, March 27th, the Senate met pursuant to adjournment. The journal of Saturday, March 26th, is read and approved. A motion, Senate adjourned. With that objection, the journal stands approved as read. Presentations of petitions, messages from the assembly, messages from the governor, reports of standing committees, reports of select committees, communications and reports from state officers, motions and resolutions. Well, uh, Senator DeFrancisco. Yes, would you please uh, recognize Senator Gianaris? Senator Gianaris. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the following bill be discharged from its respective committee and be recommitted with instructions to strike the enacting clause, Senate Bill 4888C. So ordered. Law Leader? Yes. Uh, Mr. President, uh, can you now take up the non controversial reading of the calendar? Secretary will read. Calendar number 107 by Senator Laval, Senate Print 1617, Act Amendment Social Services Law. Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect on the 30th day. Call the roll. Adabo, Flannan, and Klein, Stewart, Cousins, Young. Announce the result. Ayes 41, nays 1, Senator Delon recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Calendar number 127 by Senator Robach, Senate Print 1965A, Act Amendment Highway Law. Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo, Flannan, and Klein, Stewart, Cousins, Young. Announce the result. Ayes 42. The bill is passed. Calendar number 128 by Senator Robach, Senate Print 2682A, an act amend the highway law. Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo, Flannan, and Klein, Stewart, Cousins, Young. Announce the result. Ayes 42. The bill is passed. Calendar number 200 by Senator Hassel Thompson, Senate Print 3818, enacted in the Corrections Law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo, Flannan, and Klein, Stewart, Cousins, Young. Announce the result. Ayes 44. The bill is passed. Calendar number 280 by Senator Nazolio, Senate Print 6267, enacted in the Vehicle and Traffic Law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect on the 1st of April. Call the roll. Adabo, Flannan, and Klein, Stewart, Cousins, Young. Announce the result. Ayes 44. The bill is passed. Calendar number 281 by Senator Marchone, Senate Print 6482, an act amend the highway law. Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo, Flannan, Klein, Stewart, Cousins, Young. Senator Marchione. I rise for the purpose of speaking on this legislation before us. I'm truly on honored to sponsor this bill designating the overpass at exit 14 of Route 87 North as the Assemblyman Robert DeAndre Bridge, naming a bridge in Saratoga County after Assemblyman Robert Bobby DeAndre truly benefits his legacy of honorable, thoughtful public service. Because of whether he was serving as supervisor for the city of Saratoga Springs or in the State Assembly where he did for 27 years, the true hallmark of Bobby D'Andre is uh, building a, a service of building bridges. Bridges of opportunity and exclusion and inclusion for the betterment of everyone. Bridges of kindness, cooperation, and collegiality to advance the greater good. Their bridges were built upon a strong foundation of tireless community service and dedicated charitable involvement and led the way for a brighter future. Bobby D'Andre's life, Bobby D'Andre's legacy, they transcended politics. Always ready, willing, and able to roll up his sleeves and do the hard work, the real work of public service. Bobby D'Andre has resided in the city of Saratoga Springs, east of Interstate 87 at exit 14 for decades. And now this nearby bridge will bear the name of a true bridge builder, Bobby D'Andre, to celebrate his honorable legacy of service to our Saratoga, Washington community. 
I congratulate Bobby, his wife, Teresa, their five children and six grandchildren on this designation. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Bobby was a great man. Uh, announce the result. Ayes 48. The bill is passed. Gallon number 286 by Senator Hannon, Senate Senator 6779A, enacted under the Public Health Law. Read the last section. Section 3 of this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo Flannan, Klein Stewart, Cousin Jung. Announce the result. Ayes 48. The bill is passed. Gallon number 287 by Senator Hannon, Senate Senator 6800, enacted under the Public Health Law. Read the last section. Section 3 of this act should take effect on the 180th day. Call the roll. Adabo Flannan, Klein Stewart, Cousin Jung. Announce the result. Ayes 47, nays 1, Senator Perkins recorded the negative. The bill is passed. Gallon number 305 by Senator Lanza, Senator Print 3491, enacted amend the penal law. Read the last section. Section 2 is that should take effect on the 1st of November. Call the roll. Adabo Flannan, and Klein Stewart, Cousins Jung. Announce the result. Ayes 46, nays 2, Senators Montgomery and Perkins recorded the negative. The bill is passed. Gallon number 358 by Senator Ransenhofer, Senate Print 877, Act Amend the Elder Law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo Flannan and Klein Stewart Cousins Young. Announce the result. Ayes 48. The bill is passed. Gallon number 363 by Senator Lanza, Senate Print 4627B, and Act Amend the Property Tax Law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo Flannan and Klein Stewart Cousins Young. Announce the result. Ayes 50. The bill is passed. Gallon number 368 by Senator Serino, Senate Print 6925, and Act Amend the Public Health Law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo Flannan and Klein Stewart Cousins Jung. Announce the result. Ayes 50. The bill is passed. Gallon number 369 by Senator Klein, Senate Print 854, and Act Amend the Agricultural Markets Law. Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect on the 180th day. Call the roll. Adabo Flannan and Klein Stewart Cousins Jung. Announce the result. Ayes 53. The bill is passed. No. Gallon number 373 by Senator Valeski, Senate Print 5720A, and Act Amend the Agricultural Markets Law. Read the last section. Section 5, the statute should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo Flannan and Klein Stewart Cousins Jung. Senator Yespat, to explain your vote. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to explain my vote. The history of farm worker disenfranchisement is rooted in the Jim Crow era. And sadly, their unfair treatment continues to be a lasting legacy of those times. Farm workers toil in hard conditions from sunup to sundown to, to feed all of us. The conditions they work in are often harsh and often unsafe. Uh, they, the conditions they live in are often unsanitary, and yet farm workers do not have access to workers' compensation, and they are not allowed to organize. The treatment of farm workers is abhorrent and unacceptable, and I, along with many others, have advocated to end these shameful practices that are, moral to, or that are a moral affront to everything our state stands for. As we get ready to approve next year's budget this week, let's be sure not to leave our farm workers once again. Let's get $15 an hour. Let's be the first to do it. And let's make sure farm workers get in there too. This is one of many bills that will give the farm industry handsome benefits. And I, as I've done in the last several years, will continue to vote down on all of this. I, my vote is in the negative, Mr. President. Mr. President. Senator SBI in the negative. Announce the result. Ayes 57. Ayes 56, nays 2. Senators DeLon and Espayat recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Calendar number 380 by Senator Golden, Senator Print 1060A, and Act Amend the Civil Rights Law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo Flannan and Klein Stewart Cousins Young. Announce the result. Ayes 57, nays 1, Senator Perkins recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Calendar number 387 by Senator Ort, Senator Print 2693A, and Act Amend the Public Authorities Law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act will take effect January 1, 2017. Call the roll. Adabo Flannan and Klein Stewart Cousins Young. Announce the result. Ayes 58. The bill is passed. Gallon number 392 by Senator Young, Senator Print 2316, act amend the private housing finance law. Please lay the bill aside for the day. Lay it aside for the day. Uh, floor leader, that completes a non controversial reading of the calendar.
Yes, can we go back to motions and resolutions and take up previously adopted resolution number 3192 by Senator Venditto and read the title only and then call on Senator Venditto. The Secretary will read. Legislative resolution number 3192 by Senator Venditto. Congratulating C.J. Marie of North Belmore, New York, upon the occasion of being named 2015 Ms. New York Senior America. Senator Venditto. Mr. President, thank you very much. I have the uh, distinct honor of introducing a very important and distinguished guest to our chamber today. Her name is C.J. Marie, and she is also known as uh, Miss New York Senior America. Uh, you know, whatever side of the politi political ledger we may stand on, ladies and gentlemen, I think we can all agree that the men and women who are our, the members of our senior population here in New York State, they have made great sacrifices to build, uh, cultivate, and maintain the communities where we live uh, and raise our families. And they have also helped pave the way for all of us to enjoy the freedoms, the privileges, and the opportunities that we have each and every day. They're continuing to work to make sure that those freedoms, privileges, and opportunities are preserved for generations to come. And we have with us today a terrific spokeswoman for our senior population in New York, in Miss Marie. She has amassed a tremendous amount of professional success in her life. Uh, a teacher of over 35 years at the elementary school level. She has written, get this, 14 books, all of which provide valuable lessons for living. Uh, she has dedicated a great part of her life to physical fitness and dance and sharing what she's learned in those fields with others so that they can better their lives. The accomplishments just go on and on. And on a personal level, she has also achieved so much success using her time, her talents, her treasures, and yes, her beauty uh, to travel across the state to help people, particularly those who are most in need. So, Ms. Marie, on behalf of all my colleagues, I'd like to welcome you to the chamber today and thank you for being with us. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Miss New York, Senior America, C.J. Marie. Yes, uh, Senator Venditto has uh, offered to uh, this, this uh, resolution for sponsorship. Uh, anyone who does not want to uh, sponsor should notify the desk. The resolution is open for co-sponsorship. If you do not wish to be a co-sponsor, please notify the desk. Floor leader. Is there any further business at the desk? No further business. That being the case, I move to adjourn until Tuesday, March 29th at 3 p.m. Sharp. On motion, the Senate stands adjourned until Tuesday, March 29th at 3 p.m. sharp.